Let's look at how 1010 Data sets up tables and designs data transformations. First, some terms. Loading and transforming data is referred to as ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load. Another option is ELT, or Extract, Load, and Transform. Our platform supports both, and we'll explore this in a bit. But first, let's look at how to create a database. The first time you set up a database, you'll need to gather information about the data's intended use to guide your design. Information can include data element types like number, text, or date. It can also describe relationships between data, permissible values, and what elements can and can't be used for analysis. This information is called metadata, data about properties of other data. Metadata that describes the layout of tables is called a table schema. While some database management systems require this to be defined up front, just a small amount of information is needed to set up a database in 1010. This is what we call schema lists. To better understand schema lists, let's look at a traditional approach. First, we research the use case and available data. Next, we incorporate this into an entity relationship or ER model, which includes the necessary data items and describes how they relate to each other. For example, you were born in one specific location. However, that location may be where many other people were born. From here, we develop a logical database schema or logical model that defines tables and integrity constraints. An integrity constraint says what data values are acceptable and is driven from the ER model. For example, a constraint can prevent the addition of data for a person with more than one birthplace. The schema also includes information about each table column, like name, data type, and domain constraints. A domain constraint defines valid values for a field, like saying a column may only contain one of the seven days of the week, or must be within the span of whole numbers between 1 and 10. Schemas also include keys which uniquely identify the rows of a table. Schema settings must be set correctly at the start, as it's much harder to make changes after the database is in use. We have our logical database schema, which describes the data. Now, we need to design the physical database schema, which describes the storage of data and metadata on disk storage. Next, we'll set up the database. And finally, we load in the data. Now, we have a database table. For data warehouses, where many data tables come from another transaction system, the ER model may not be needed since the source system created it. However, data warehouses often need to use the ETL process for data cleansing or post-processing. 